section of leaders across the country have criticized Deputy President Rigathi Gashago for shifting blames to National Intelligence Service Director General Nurdin Haji. This is after Rigathi yesterday accused Haji of failing to adequately advise President William Bruto on the Finance Bill 2024, leading to the destruction of property and loss of lives. James Baraka with the details. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagu has received sharp criticism and condemnation from a section of leaders across the country following his accusation towards the National Intelligence Service NIS, specifically the Director General Nodin Haji, for what he termed as endangering the President and hindering effective governance. We have a dysfunctional National Intelligence Service that has exposed the President, the government, and the people of Kenya. Had the National Intelligence Service briefed the president two months ago about how the people of Kenya feel about the finance bill 2024, so many Kenyans would not have died. According to the first governor of Mandera County, Ali Ibrahim Roba, and I quote, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa's unfounded and morally reprehensible blame on Nudin Haji, the director general of the National Intelligence Service, NIS, is rooted in regional biases rather than professional qualifications. While calling on leaders to rise above regional biases and respect the critical role of NIS leadership, Ali added that blaming Haji is a diversion from government accountability and that such scapegoating is evil as it shifts focus from real issues. Former Mombasa Governor Hassan Ali Joho also claimed that it is time for the government to restore confidence in its citizens and not apportioning blame for failures that should be collectively owned by them. This comes just after Gashagwa yesterday alleged Haji of attempting to shift the blame of the nationwide witness protest on him together with the former president Uhuru Kenyatta. Yesterday, Nudin Haji was trying to put up a team together to craft lies and propaganda and attribute the chaos that were in the country to leaders, I included former president Uhuru Kenyatta and others. However, the demonstrations witnessed today despite President Ruto's decline to sign the contentious finance bill yesterday has proved that protest against the bill was just but a sign of a deeper problem. James Baraka, KUTV News.